before we get started with those three easy steps, I wanted to spend a little bit more time talking about getting your affairs in order from um, a non-legal perspective, because there is more to it. Now, if you are embarking on getting your affairs in order, your legal documents in order, you're probably going to be doing these other things because any estate planning and elder law attorney will likely talk with you about these other non-legal um, matters. But I do, I don't want to, um, you know, spend all the time talking about legal documents. I want to talk about things from an estate planning and elder law perspective that are very important about getting your affairs in order. So for example, the whole idea about getting your affairs in order is because we all know we're facing an, an inevitable matter, which will be, we will all pass at some point in time. So part of that is making things easier. Have you taken steps such as make your wishes known when it comes to funeral, cremation, burial, have you communicated those wishes to anybody and have you done it in paper? Because asking people to rely upon their recollection at a very difficult time is asking a lot. Um, have you uh, purchased a prepaid burial plan? Have you put information that you would want in your obituary in writing or have you even started a draft of your obituary? You can see why people don't want to do this, right? It seems so terribly morbid. Um, but for those people who really want to make sure things are done as they want them to be done, they will take these actions. I uh, read recently that Prince Philip, recall he passed in 2021, uh, just months shy of his 100th birthday, spent 18 years planning his funeral with military precision so that it was just what he wanted. Now think about this. Let's say he was about 100 years old. He spent 18 years. That means he started planning his funeral when he was 82. And frankly, I would suggest that planning at 82 is a little bit late in the planning process. It wouldn't hurt to plan a little bit earlier than that. Other practical um, thoughts about getting your affairs in order is um, the documentation. And again, as I said, an estate planning lawyer will talk with you about this. We're going to get to those three easy steps in a moment. But getting your important documents in organized in one place so they're easy to find. What I mean by that is we've already talked about funeral, prepaid funeral. But how about bank statements, investment statements, life insurance policies, retirement accounts, um, titles to vehicles, social media accounts and passwords to your computer um, just all of those things if you think about it when you pass all of those assets will go somewhere well what are those assets so do a bit of an inventory with backup documentation so it's easy for whomever has to deal with your estate and i think i would be remiss if i didn't talk about relationships um there, when somebody passes, um, you know, there's a lot of grief. Um, sometimes people, um, you know, die quickly. Sometimes they, they linger and there's a long period of time. I don't know if any of you had the um, opportunity to attend, but it was a few years back here in Spokane, um, the author, physician, and writer Atul Gawande, who wrote Being Mortal, he said something that really stuck with me and I want to share it for what it is worth. With regard to relationships, what he said are these very uh, powerful um, sentences that um, make a world of difference. Uh, the first thing he said is saying, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Second was, I forgive you. The third thing he said was, I appreciate you and thank you for being in my life. And then the fourth thing he said for healing of relationships was, I love you. This very brilliant author and physician, um, there was a large audience there and a lot of people who were interested in the subject of, you know, end of life, et cetera. 
And, you know, it was really a profound statement that he made. So I am simply sharing that with you because part of getting your affairs in order is healing relationships, if that's possible. Thank you.